Hi guys and welcome to a super chaotic and very not thought through video at all. It's gonna be fine. I just wanted to show you how I installed The Sims 2 on my Windows 10 Pro so that you don't have to go through all the trouble and look for through all the folders and find out what is the right thing for The Sims 2 to install. Um, because it took me about a day. <laughs> And now I have to do it all over again because now I have an SSD installed and the moving of the program didn't work so I have to install it again. So I thought this is perfect. I can show you how I did it and hopefully this will work for you. I cannot guarantee this 100% because sometimes it's just weird, okay? But this is what worked for me so hopefully this will also work for you. So let's get started. All right, what you first want to do is take a look at the version of your Sims game that you have. So I have this one. So this is the German version, which, um, let's see this. So that means I have four CDs now. These are CD-ROM. So what that means is um, that my drive doesn't recognize them because it only recognizes DVDs. Luckily, I have this external drive. So, and this recognizes them. So that's what I use to install them. All right, so that's the first thing you, you have to check because as I said, my normal drive thinks there's no CD in there. Let's put CD no number one in there. And I'm also gonna show you one of the things that could happen actually with the Sims games. Hi everyone, this is Future Theresia and I have to come to you via voiceover because something happened to my mic when I was recording this and it just didn't pick up everything that I'm telling you. So I'm going to run you through this like this. So you open uh, the CD basically in a new window and that's what I did because my disk one was damaged. So I couldn't run the installation via the CD-ROM. It always stopped at 16%. So what I found out is that you can copy everything from the disk to your PC. Okay, that's what I'm doing now. You copy, I made a new folder. I called it Sims CDs or something like that. Yep. And then I'm gonna um, paste it in there. Um, this might take a while if it for some reason takes like a day which happened for me um it just didn't want to work i found out i had a smudge on my cd so i cleaned it again and ta-da it suddenly actually worked see here cut to the next day i suddenly have makeup on <laughs> uh, still the same clothes though so don't judge me <laughs> Okay, so it worked with the copying and everything, yada yada yada. So what you can do now is you right click on the setups, the exe, ex, exe setup file. You right click and run that as the administrator. Um, yeah. You have to be the administrator of your PC. Make sure you're the administrator. <laughs> um, okay, you, then you can select your language and uh, then does the same thing. If you only have one CD, it will only run you through this once. If you have like me multiple CDs, um, it will run you through, you You know, uh, after a while it will tell you like, hey, you need to insert disk two or something. And uh, what I haven't figured out yet, um, maybe if there's a thing um, that, if your sim if your disk 2 is scratched, uh, I tried to copy also disk 2 on my PC and see if the installation worked fine from there. I didn't figure it out. Um, really? I hope it, it, it works for you if your disk 2 is scratched. I'm really sorry if it doesn't. And okay, then you get this really fun minigame, which as a kid I tried to beat that minigame so many times and I never could and then I get super frustrated. And like this is legit the first ever time I can remember in my entire life that I bet that minigame and I'm still kind of proud of it. 
<laughs> if uh, I'd get nothing done else in my life, um, at least I always remember I bet the, the Sims 2 minigame. Okay, now, there's a current error that occurs when you want to install expansion packs. The problem is that it wants you to insert the last disk of The Sims 2 that you installed, which means which you have just have the base game installed, you have to insert disk 4, and then it will tell you that your Sims game is not up to date, and then the installation is now going to be reversed. So you cannot install the expansion packs. What you need is you need to go to this web page. I'm gonna link it in the description down below. And there is a zip folder there that you um, download, and then you copy, there you go. I download that one. And then you have to uh, copy the file inside the donut zip folder to the folder of your Sims 2 and it will actually overwrite the file. You know, you have to confirm the override of the file already there and then it will con overwrite like the one folder which is um, like irresponsible for updates and stuff. Uh, okay, so um, this is those are the three folders. And I'm going to go to my Sims 2 folder right now. There we go. Okay, and I'm kind of taking that and putting it in there. And I'm confirming the overwrite. There you go. Yes, come on. Okay. And then I. And now when you install the Sims 2 expansion packs, it will tell you um, that the uh, Sims. Um, game is now finally up to date again, so that actually works out pretty well. Um, see, I'm gonna do the same again. I'm opening it in a new folder and then I'm doing the setup. I don't know why I did that. I think it also wants not fine if you just, you know, do the setup normally, but I'm having trouble finding the setup. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, and it is administrator again. Now, I made a mistake here, which I'm actually not showing you. Wow. Um, I cut that out, I guess. So the thing is, um, here, it, it, now it tells you that it's up to date because it's already been in updated, so yay for that zip folder. Um, what, you, what the problem was is if you, of course, run it uh, you know as like a special installation i don't know what's it called is it like an, an administrative installation the thing is that you really have to be careful um that you do not you, that you put you make like basically you recreate the path correctly so what i did i just kind of put all in one sims tool folder and it overwrote like the sims the expansion packs overrode different things um, like from the base pack and now then it wouldn't run of course so I had to do the whole installation all again so make sure you actually have a folder for each expansion pack right just don't be stupid like me all right I think that's it well have a wonderful day and I will see you uh, soon ish some sometime all right bye bye